Hey what's up guys, in this video I will talk about 5 reasons why you should buy Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 over Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now both of these smartwatches came out a year apart, Galaxy Watch Active 2 came out last year whereas Galaxy Watch 3 came out this year and is the latest Samsung smartwatch. Now despite that there are quite a lot of similarities between these two smartwatches in terms of their specifications and their software but still there are quite a few differences there and I will talk about them in this video. So let's start. Now the first thing that I want to mention here is obviously the bezel. Now Galaxy Watch 3 comes with actual physical rotating bezel. It is much more satisfying and the experience is great. I love the feel of rotating this bezel and the clicks are there. These are real clicks and it feels amazing. Navigating the software is also breeze with this. You can scroll through menus and you can scroll through widgets very easily, very swiftly and very quickly. And the thing that I enjoy very much is the fact that it is integrated very well with the Tizen OS or One UI that this watch is running on and you can actually control every aspect of this software with the bezel. Now as compared to the physical rotating bezel on Galaxy Watch 3, we have touch bezel on Galaxy Watch Active 2 which again is not bad, it works great and after a while you have this muscle memory but then again it takes a very long time to get used to it, it is not as precise or to the point. The clicks that you feel while using the touch bezel are actually haptic feedback from the haptic motor in the watch and are not real but then again it gives a real feeling. But the thing that frustrates me the most are the accidental touches so if you're wearing the watch and you have got your cuff going on around the watch it will uh, you know affect the bezel and it will uh, you know uh, swipe through menus your cuff or your clothes will uh, activate the bezel and swipe through menus and whenever you look at the watch you will be looking at something else instead of the time so that has frustrated me quite a few times another thing that has really pained me over time is the fact that whenever you are swiping with the finger the finger would either move too much in on in the display and will activate something else and instead of going where you were going you will uh, you know launch another app or another menu and that would eventually frustrate you or it will just you know uh, just slip off the edge sometimes and that is why I've been using different accessories with this watch but other than that it is alright but not as good or as precise or as satisfying as the real actual physical rotating bezel. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the design language of both of these smartwatches. There is a difference in size and look of both of them. Galaxy Watch 3 is big and bulky and it has a very strong presence on the wrist. Now because the watch is big and bulky it is also suitable for people with bigger wrists and who don't or who feel that Galaxy Watch Active 2 is way too small for their wrist so they can go for this option. But there is a difference in the basic design language in both of these smartwatches. Galaxy Watch Active 2 is meant to blend in with the background. It is light and simple and is mostly out of the way but it is there when you need it with all its functionality and all its power. Galaxy Watch 3 on the other hand is meant to make a statement. It has this presence, it feels on the wrist, it has weight to it as well. So that's the second reason to go for Galaxy Watch 3 if you want a watch that feels not only classy on the wrist but also makes a statement. There you go. Galaxy Watch 3 is the watch for you. Now moving on to the next reason I want to talk about the durability factor here. Now both of these smartwatches are made up of stainless steel frame which means that they are tough and can take daily wear and tear but there is one aspect where they are different from each other and then again we come back to the bezel and the raised edges on Galaxy Watch 3 which provides much more protection to the glass on the display on the front and because we have raised edges all around it can easily protect the glass against daily wear and tear and scratches or even from breaking if you know you bang it up against a wall or something really hard. On the other hand on Galaxy Watch Active 2 we don't have any such thing, we don't have any raised bezel, we don't have any raised edges, it's all bare glass on the front which extends all the way up to the edges so it is way more vulnerable to scratches and dings and daily wear and tear and if you bang it up against a rough surface or a wall or anything else you can even break the glass because there is no protection on the front and that is also one more factor that you can keep in mind while looking for your next Samsung smartwatch. If you have an adventurous lifestyle, you go on adventures and you want to really use your watch in rough conditions then Galaxy Watch 3 is your best bet since it will protect the glass way better than uh, the one on Galaxy Watch Active 2. And after using Gear S3 for years and then Galaxy Watch I'm pretty sure that this rotating bezel on Galaxy Watch 3 is also quite durable and will last for years without any problem. 
so there is that as well next up i want to talk about another very important difference and this one is actually a hardware difference between these two watches and that is the spo2 sensor it's a physical component it cannot be updated with software so galaxy watch active 2 will never have it will never get it although not everyone needs it but together with the promise of upcoming ecg and bp monitoring this will make it an ideal package for people looking to track their fitness more precisely and that will make galaxy watch 3 a much better option or buy uh, and even future proof it further as compared to galaxy watch active 2 now galaxy watch active 2 is also waiting for the global availability of ecg and bp monitoring which we don't know when it will come but we have samsung's promise and it's been over a year we have not seen anything yet so who knows if you are looking to invest in something that can track your fitness in a more wholesome way then galaxy watch 3 is going to be a much better bet as compared to galaxy watch active 2 and now moving on to the final reason and although this is not a deal breaker people who like to download a lot of apps or store a lot of data on their watch will appreciate this feature and that's double the storage on galaxy watch 3 so now as compared to the 4 gb on galaxy watch active 2 we now have 8 gb's internal storage on galaxy watch 3 which is great now you can download a lot more apps watch faces and also store a decent amount of music on the watch itself so that you can listen to it directly from the watch connected with your bluetooth headphones and you want to go on a run leaving your phone behind you can totally do that now so that's about it from this video guys these were the five reasons why you should buy galaxy watch 3 over galaxy watch active 2 now i want to know from you guys let me know why you would prefer to buy galaxy watch 3 over galaxy watch active 2 or vice versa let me know in the comments i will see you in the next video till then take care Bye bye